Did we like it? Guess you have to wait and see. So this is an amazing, amazing song. We've reacted to her many times on this channel, and I'm always in awe of her voice um, and her stage presence. Just love everything about her. So this is Diana Ankotanova, and she's performing the song Rechenka. Uh, never heard of it before, um, but that's the beauty. I love being surprised when it comes to music on this channel, and it keeps happening a lot. So keep it coming. Uh, this is a special reaction due to a PayPal donation request. So we really, really thank you so much for helping that added support towards the channel. This PayPal donation goes out to Clint Shepard. Thank you so much. Really appreciate you for um, loving and appreciating this channel and for that added love. So um, uh, thank you. And thank you to everyone else who helps this channel. We wouldn't be a channel without all of you. So we hope that we keep giving you what you want, which is reactions. Uh, that being said, please make sure that you support these musicians. Imagine if it was you. If you're not able to purchase their music, then you can for it free. And free would be subscribing to their channel. I know this is not Diana's official channel. This is the link that I was given, by the way. Um, but I will have in the description her actual YouTube channel so you can subscribe to that um, to support her. Since I'm using this, though, for reaction purposes, um, I am going to like it and I am going to subscribe to it. Um, but yes, yeah, so support the musicians first and please support us second and subscribe and uh, help us to these YouTube algorithms. Thank you. So without further ado, let's hear what this song is all about. And I'll commentate more afterwards. So here we go. Oh 
Well, damn. <laughs> well, damn, Clint. Like, wow. Deanna, well, damn. Like, I'm, 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 I'm at a loss for words. I'm like trying to gather myself because that that gave you everything. Not only did it give you her amazing vocals, it gave you that feeling, like that tingling sensation inside your body. Like, I actually got like a chill up my back because it was so, it was so tribal and um, spiritual and captivating. It was like ear candy. It was just exuding ear candy. Like her vocal acrobats that 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 she was doing was just that one shrill or or, or maybe voice fries that she was doing. I'm not a musician or a vocalist. So I forget some of the names you've taught me through the months, but that that whole ah, I know I'm messing it up. <laughs> I probably cut this part out, but. That whole up and down teeter tottering of her voice part there, like that was just so haunting and tribal right there. Like it was just really, really alluring. And then having like the ambiance of like the blue setting for the aesthetics and like those river spirits that she had called them at one part of the song, representing like behind her and moving and everything behind her. Like it just gave you this whole full rounded feeling of being at a river. But you're not shaking or anything like that. And you have the spirits of the river um, guiding you and stuff like that. And I was trying to look at the the lyrics it's a little bit down at the bottom, but I was more focused on what I was seeing and hearing. So it meant to something about a wedding, like a wedding that wasn't like that you wanted. It was more like a, one of those, I guess, prepared weddings, but then like the parents weren't there or something like that. So this hearing that sounds sad. Um, so she wasn't happy. Like they had asked her, like, why are you sad or not smiling or something like that? So it was just almost like a cry out for help almost. Um, beautifully done. Like, oh my God, those judges, I don't, I know of this show cause you mentioned it a while ago, but I never watched it, watched it. So I'm just glad that they all hit their buttons or whatever. Um, they better, there should not be one untouched button. Her voice alone is so captivating because she can go different ranges. She, You said a while ago in the comments that she can hit one of those really low register voices like Cher, uh, but she can also hit the higher ones too. So she has that gift um, on top of giving you that stage presence. Like looking at her face, like you can see her face. She was living through the song um, and her movement and what she was wearing and everything. Everything was beautiful. It was ear candy. It was eye candy. Loved everything about. I loved it. I'm, I'm I'm showing my cards early, so let's just get to this part. So this is the part of our show. We always do our thumbs up, pass if we like a song. Thumbs down, ass if we don't. Let's stop playing around. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Very very beautiful. I really really love that. Um, and I see why you loved it, Clint. You said you said I think in the um, the PayPal notes. How much you really love this song. It really means a lot to you and everything about it. Something to that effect. So I see and hear why. Um, please, please, please support these musicians. If you can't buy their music, please subscribe to them because that's free. Everybody affords free. Um, so, yeah, tell us your thoughts about this song. Tell us if, tell us if this is one of your favorite songs, even perhaps by Deanna um, in the comments. Um what this song means to you let us also know this is your first time hearing this song because that'd be cool i want to know who who else is like myself and never heard it before so in any event this is taz with taz and philly i want y'all to take it easy and keep it breezy <laughs>